Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome to the brand new desert campaign Iran Iraq bypass send. Hello everyone, welcome to the new uh, PvP campaign. Uh, this desert campaign, it's the, the next one in my Cold War PvP series after the Golan and then the Pakistan campaign, which we played through at first a 1960s conflict, then a 70s conflict, and so now we're going to fight through a 1980s conflict. Um, this time we'll, we are abstracting the Iran Iraq war which took place from 1980 to 1988, and saw the use in combat of a number of advanced systems for the time, like the Soviet KH-25 anti-radiation missile, the AIM-54 Phoenix, the French Magic and Super Matra missiles, as well as the latest AIM-7 Sparrow and AIM-9 Sinewater variants. Iraqi MiG-29s and Mirage F-1s came up against Iranian F-14s and F-4Es, so uh, there were a number of iconic matchups that I hope we can replicate in this campaign. And as we have a growing roster of period aircraft in the core game, it should be good fun. The F-4 is not out yet, sadly, but when it does, it'll be able to slot in seamlessly and we can produce most of the other encounters. Now, the only thing we can't replicate, unfortunately, is the actual battleground of Iran and Iraq borders. So I have superimposed the actual front lines onto our reliable Syria map. Um, I found that taking a 120 mile by 200 a mile chunk out of that map gave us an interesting battleground we can use with nicely spread out air bases. Um, like my last two campaigns in this PvP Cold War trilogy, we are split roughly evenly into two teams. We have roughly equal tech and we have roughly similar starting territory. The team that wins will be again the one that plays smarter and better. Um, the premise or jumping off point for this particular campaign is that Iraq and Iran are currently at a stalemate along the front, but will be employing all resources at their disposal in one last effort to win the theater and force the other side into making peace. You will be those resources. So to win the campaign, you'll need to capture the, your enemy's capital province while also still holding yours, as well as having territory connecting the two. Uh, this will make sense in a bit once I show you the maps. Um, in an interesting twist, in this first mission, neither team knows where their opponents are based or starting. Uh, members have been sending me their requested locations, so as to how the first mission goes will be anyone's guess. So let me just walk you through the rules uh, for today below the images. So the campaign basic rule set. This is a PvP campaign against the backdrop of the Iran-Iraq War of 1980-88. To win the campaign, as I said, you must own both your capital province and your enemy's capital province. So for Red 4, uh, that will be owning Kerman Shah province and Blue 4 Diyala as well as having contiguous territory in between. To conquer a province, then you'll need to capture both the airfield and the FARP in that province. To capture those, uh, you need to take over the designated zones with your coalition ground units. Troops or vehicles can do this. CTLD logistics hubs are available near each airfield and FARP. You can load troops, build some sites, ground radars, FOBs, vehicles, or you can rescue pilots. Beware, anything you build can be destroyed. Also, when you are sling loading, you'll have to stay under 150 kph uh, for safety and for not to break your sling. Uh, rule number six, all provinces are home to a number of your coalition units. Um, there's basic AAA Shura defenses at each FARP and airbase. As the enemy destroys your units, uh, you can build new ones, as indicated above, through the logistics hub. Your losses and gains will carry over into the next mission. Uh, you can repair, rearm, refuel, etc. at any friendly uh, airfield or FARP. And each province you conquer will also provide you with a bonus, uh, which we'll see in a bit. Uh, you can affect future missions um, by deciding where to land. You'll start off from where you left off the last mission. Helos, again, can rescue bailed out pilots. You'll just have to land next to the bailed out pilot, wait 10 seconds, type in chat and to mark the rescue and the, the pilot will have to be brought to a friendly FARP area. And this can be applied to rotary pilots too, who can also be bailed out. All aircraft will need to stay within the area of operations. And the battle zone and province borders will be indicated uh, on the F-10 map. Um, if you're still active in the match, uh, you're allowed to refer to uh, the F-10 map, you can GCI. Um, upon death, however, um, you can hop into a helo navigation or gunner position. Alternatively, they are JTAC slots, and so you can keep uh, the attack on the enemy going. You can take a vehicle and drive around the map, bring your vehicle closer to an enemy base, or start an attack yourself. Um, if you become a spectator, then you must leave your SRS channel. You cannot communicate with any active players, as this is a competitive match. 
Um, so in unlike my previous campaign, though, um, any targets or units can be attacked by any aircraft, fixed wing or rotary. So rotary craft, fixed wing craft can engage each other as well. Each round lasts 90 minutes from the first spawn in. The end of the round will be indicated and any actions after that will not count. Mission time and weather, it's an unspecified time in the mid to late 1980s, it's the afternoon. Um, for this first mission, the visibility is excellent, conditions are fair. Uh, the map is set to fog of war, um, however, there won't be much radar coverage and there is no ground radar at the beginning and there won't be any AWACS. So uh, you'll have to rely on uh, your own onboard radar systems. Um, you can also build a ground radar station. So if, if your team, uh, Helo pilots, can build that, that would be your advantage. Respawn conditions, the usual ones apply, uh, but we have two additions for this campaign. Transport helos uh, in this campaign get infinite respawns. Um, they will be very uh, busy building uh, logistic spaces, building SAM sites, and the attrition will be high. So it made sense for me, uh, I thought, to have them with unlimited respawns. For all other pilots, attack a helicopter and a fixed wing, you're allowed a second life on death. Um, I think that made sense in such a big map and to replicate a wider conflict. So as I said earlier, if once you have used your second life, you can hop into a, an assistant position in a helo, or you can take a JTAC slot and, and uh, do the ground war, as you will. Um, if we go to the second tab, we have a look at the maps. You can see it's a 120 nautical mile by 200 nautical mile area. It's been divided into two coalitions. Uh, both Red 4 and Blue 4 have uh, five provinces in this map marked in their color, and they're currently fighting over a sixth uh, Mai San, which is contested purple. So contested province means one airbase belongs to blue and one airbase belongs to red. It is contested. The map has been divided into provinces to add a bit of flavor, um, to, to use the historically accurate province names, um, just for a bit of flavor there. Uh, there's a couple of additional rules uh, about pig zones, drop zones, airfields, etc. As I said, each airfield and FARP has a logistic base nearby. You can load troops, etc. To capture a FARP, you'll need to move troops or ground forces into the designated zones. Um, if you outnumber your uh, enemy troops there, you'll win that FARP. Oh yes, so the, the battle map is alive with ground air units, not limited to the bonuses you earn. So air units, ground units you encounter uh, will not always be player units, so expect the unexpected. Um, the, oh, I've posted some images to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So if you have a look, you can see uh, FARP and logistics space, top left. This will show you the areas that you need to, to capture. Uh, you'll need to drive land troops in the middle of the FARP to capture that. And to capture an air base, an airfield, you'll need to go towards the middle of the airfield and outnumber your enemy to uh, own that airfield and use it. And I have used comms tower to indicate when FARP or airfields are nearby. Below that, there is a rotary ring uh, capabilities table for this campaign. So you can see your helo and what you can do. So whether you can rescue pilots, sling load, transport troops and spawn crates at these logistic bases. And at the bottom, you have a bonus uh, table. So if you capture one of the provinces, this is the bonus you'll get in the next mission. The last tab, uh, the airfield restrictions, is some extra information on your loadouts and uh, historical loadouts are applied here. Teams, Iraq, we have Enfield, Fulcrums, Signore, Bear, Penguin, Cap, Super Attendard, played by Hornets, Jackal, Chef, Shrak, Ford 2, Frogfoot, Blight, Ello, Pontiac, Hind, Redo, Dodge, Me 17, Bean, Jigsaw, Matrix, Blood, Iran, Springfield 1, Tomcat A, Cover, High, Simba, Gans, Chevy 1, Tomcat A, Harath, plus Mrs. Harath, uh, Chevy 3, Frogfoot, Jaffers, Uzi, F5, Bendy, Milo, Apache, in Cobras, uh, Kelso, Poosh, Bypass, Rage, Unexpected, Colt, Huey, Tuxor, Lucky, get ready for battle. Right on to blue planning. The helo guys, transport guys, have been chatting. We're going to set up in um, is it Kazakhstan, down the southernmost right-hand side of the map. Uh, we're going to set up a SAM site fairly close to the uh, FARP first, then set up another one on top of the hills to give you some cover, possibly with a radar to give you ATA guys cover, uh, radar cover. Without that, we dead. we're dead. 
We need that EWR should be your number one priority and then defending it uh, as choppers. Otherwise, those Tomcats will kill us and then they'll kill you. Okay. Uh, we can, the, the Hilo guys can say split into two pairs. Maybe just have one pair do the EWR first. Get that Great. done as a priority along with some SAMs. Uh, and then possibly later, we'll probably position some friendly forces a bit further forward. But if you can cap in that area, that would help us a lot. I know it's a risk to you, but we're not going to be able to do anything if they keep shooting us down right from the word go. It is Say again, in what's that that down, one camp? That's uh, no problem. We can cap it as... It's just as, gone. As, I think that wasn't a spot. As long as we uh, need to. Um, the, a few considerations to make for for the, our cap capability is that uh, obviously they outrange us. Our uh, FOX-2 is our only rear aspect. Uh, their AIM-9Ls can kill us from 10 miles away without us even knowing head on. Uh, I know it doesn't sound likely, but it's been done in game. So uh, I, my my hope is that we can get some SA from an EWR and then sneak around. That's that's my my hope for us. Metrics space. Say again, in what sector you want uh, the Sorry. EWR? Uh, well, where would you guys want it? We're going to set it up in Iraq, Kurdistan, probably on a bit of high ground somewhere near the SAM site. My my concern with that is that you're very far south and it will take a long time for any cap to reach you. Meanwhile, they can get there in a few minutes. So I don't think you'll actually be able to set a SAM side up before you get killed. I think a better position would be south of Farp Suleiman. Because uh, it's a little... we're, the base is already set, aren't they? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I spy pass at least the MI8 to base at Farp Suleiman, which is handy. Well, that's not what I asked. Yeah, that's not what he said. Told us, yeah. I mean, maybe, there's, maybe there are different. There are multiple MI8, so we could do both. Yeah. All right. Um, do we all know where everyone's taking off? Because I only know where we're taking off. Um, F18s uh, in uh, the north. Let me look at the map real quick. I think uh, Matrix. We we should set up uh, a SAM well, site near uh, Kurdistan, zone. so that anyone that tries to come and kill us will get taken out by the SAM. Should okay. only be three and crates, and between two of us, we should be able to do that. You guys think they're going to be taking those eastern bases, Tyus, Palmyra? You think they're going to be going there? I mean, look, strategically, to win the campaign, we need to get to Kerman Shah, and Kurdis Iraqi Kurdistan is only, you know, you've only got two neighboring mm -hmm. sectors before you're there. Yeah. So yeah. if they if they are sensible, they need to defend those two. Otherwise, you know, we're pretty much there in two missions. Right, right. Okay. However, in terms, of, first? in terms of getting a tactical advantage, you're best holding the center of the map. So if we can get a good SAM net set up around, but somewhere between Farp Suleiman and Farp Khuzestan, um, that would give us a more decisive advantage. If we try and strike too deep into enemy territory, we'll leave ourselves vulnerable. Well, yeah, we well, can... I, I was planning to turtle up for this first mission because uh, at the end of the day, if they take out FARP Kurdistan, that's a huge loss to us. They can destroy the FARP, so... Yeah, well, I, I know that in. my MI8 is based at FARP Suleiman. I don't know if anyone else's helicopters are based there. Um, I think you're right that setting up defences at Kurdistan is good so that we don't lose it. If we can set up a SAM system at Kurdistan and probably southwest of Suleiman, that will give us pretty good coverage over the center and eastern parts of the map. I, I mean, could split the cap as well. I could split the cap, Kurdis, uh, one Farp Kurdistan and one uh, uh, Kuzistan, so more to the west. We can split. We have four ships, so we can have both areas covered. Yeah, that would be good. Particularly the ones in the center will be able to respond to multiple places. So that mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. could, you could cheat a bit and have the F-18s look up with their uh, air-to-air radar. Yeah, I was hoping, I was going to actually ask that because that's a big advantage. I know where it's kind of cheaty, but those, they're like, they're good with that, obviously. Yeah, you yeah, can do that. And where do we want, we, guys, we, we, we seed first? Yeah, so F-18 on seed and uh, air-to-air scanning. Well, you have the 25s too, Frogfoots. Mm. Uh, so oh, then we can good. maximize on uh, air to air with the 18s as well, or yeah, maximize so on badge which, and uh, air to air. Yeah, we that, do that would be good. That give us better security yeah. over multiple a wider area to protect. So that's good. And if they could, if the SU 25 should look out for the patches, that would be good. Copy that. Yep. Yeah. And that, if we, Bean and I, can try and set up an EWR in Kurdistan, just to the west of our FARP. That would give you some coverage, and it wouldn't take us too long. Hoping we find the Tomcats positions probably fairly early based on the fact that I'm sure they'll be, you know, blasting their radars 
and we can kind of get a position from then and we'll see if they're split up or if they're together pretty early on then we can focus on them do we have anyone in um who's going to be in uh, the tactical commander position pretty soon i suspect so if anyone does end up in that role the biggest threat we have in terms of uh sam systems is their harms they can probably take ours out pretty quickly However, they can only shoot them if the radars are on. So if someone is in tactical commander, they can turn the radars on and off and try and wait for them to fly over and then shoot them. I think that will be what will make them the most effective. Do we have uh, uh, SA-15s that we can build? No, if we do, way too. then we should. Because uh, they, they take down uh, enemy arms. I don't think we'll have yeah, SA-15s. Won't, we won't have them. They're not of the correct time period. That you can get them as a bonus for capturing one point, so it's not impossible. Well, but, they might. Uh, yeah, okay. If if they if we do have them, absolutely build them. All their air to air stuff is superior to ours as far as air to air weaponry. So we're gonna. And that's why I think it'd be good to get a good sand bubble set up because you can try and lure them into sand range. Well, yeah, yeah, that's why that's the EWR. I'm thinking like if we can see them, we can just turn our radars off, sneak around, and that's our. I, that'll be good. For sure. We'll do that as quick as we can. Roger. Yeah. I want to. I want to negate the advantage they have of those. Passwords up. Welcome in, viewers. We start another dynamic campaign, and this one looks like a really good one. Third to fourth gen jets, Iran, Iraq. Bear checking in two two six. Hello, Bear. Hey, Cap. How's it going? Uh, surviving, how about you? Also surviving, this um, Irish time is the same as yours and it's uh, early. What about Penguin? Did, did we get him on after us? I don't know. Captain's still with us. Yep. Alright, Cap. Um, I'm first on the right. Come with me. Roger. fast. Really fast. Yeah, it's wild. <laughs> Already burst a tyre. Dangerously fast. Alright, we're going to head south, Cap. We're going to go down to uh, Farp uh, Kurdistan and then Penguin and I put I put the marks on F10 for you guys. Roger. Cap, just stay with me. All right, I'm going EO on. Roger. We head to the same location, Bear, as before. Kind of cover that Copy. west side. Same location. She sure is fat. Yeah, amazing plane. Terrible avionics. Just, just raw power. And 
that smoke machine. Yeah, it is a smoke machine. I forgot about that. It's so funny. Senor, I don't know if you've got one bound. Um, I don't know if you've got bound. I'm sorry. Spike. You got that spike? Yep, yeah, let's hit the deck. Anything on EWR? Nose warm. Did we see anything on EWR? Uh, we don't have EWR yet, it's just fog of war. Whatever our friendly ships see, that's all we have. Roger, not a lot. That's why I wanted them to build, the helicopters to build that EWR as soon as possible for us. But um, you can tell Cap from the RWR that they're fairly close, they're head on, they're probably high. I'm guessing they're right above us. Roger. It's a Tomcat most likely, so he could be, God, it's still 40 miles away, but that radar intensity is high. I'm scanning up currently, I'm nose warm, I'm looking for him. We just lost a MiG. Oh, it was you! What happened? You twat, Signore, you twat. Got shot down, it says. Fuck. Is, is hit a, did you hit a line? It looks like you hit a line. Power line? Yeah, I hit power line. Um, Cap, was it a disconnect or was it a kill? Dead. He hit a power line and he's dead, but he can respawn. We're, we're allowed two lives. Alright, cool. Ah, oh, what a day. Cap, Pigman and I are coming to back you up. Roger, proceeding south. Uh, I didn't know power lines kill you. <laughs> that was dumb, wasn't it, boys? All right, I'm coming back, Cap. Uh, do what oh, you I can down a there. Of smoke. We're gone. Cap engaging two bandits. I've got two bandits in front of me, 20 miles. Request backup, Acer. Uh, Cap, we're bending in. Uh, Cap, I got, I got Bear and Bear and uh, Penguin are coming to assist you. Roger, I'm chasing down two, I think they're F5s. And a Tomcat. Cap, do you have an altitude on the bandits? 50 feet. On my nose, about 10 to 20 miles visual. Can't get a radar track. That's a heading for me or a vector for me of 160. Thank you, Cap. They're incredibly smoky engines. I'm scared to fire in case they end up being MiG-29s or something. Cap's been fired on by Phoenix, I'm getting the chop out of here. Copy, Cap. Oh shit, it's on Cap. Cap, you, if you want to recommit, he, he looks like he's committing to bear and uh, you could you could sneak right underneath him. Too risky, Phoenix, I've visualized Phoenix chasing me. Defensive. Roger, I visualize the hostile and I'm moving on on him, high altitude. Your Phoenix may hiss.
Cap, they put an Avenger in the area and it shot Penguin. Go on. They have an Avenger on the ground. What does that fire? Stingers? The stingers are sidewinders from the ground, so be very careful. Roger, I'll better shoot and scoot then. Yeah, just don't get too low. You, you can see the location on F-10, it's just to your north. Roger. For now. And Ca Cap, you're in the best position to intercept that 14 at 26. He's, he's turning it hot to you, Cap, right now. Fox one. That's how that's... Cap is, Cap is in from the east on that hostel. He's chasing the hostel. The hostel has turned to the southwest. Cap, they have this low kind of crap Cap low. Coming up. Roger, hello. 225, that's 225. I'll outrun him, no threat. Chicken shit bastards, someone come and find me. Cap dog fight. Oh, Simba, Simba, Simba! Oh, man, he's gonna be angry tomorrow. Poor old Simba. Um, I'm out of endurance, I've got to go, Signory. All right, I'm, I'm heading south, I'll take over for you, Cap. Uh, take, Peng, take Penguin back with you, Cap, he's wounded. We'll try. Someone's fighting down there. Okay, we just lost Bear. Yes, we did. I can't, I've got no fuel, I can't do it. A uh, hostile just took Bear down. Penguin is nearest. That'll be just north of your position, Cap, where Bear died uh, about 10 hmm. miles north of you from a wow. hostile aircraft. Roger, just taken out by Phoenix. Man, this is hardcore shit. Right, looks like three of us are going to be having our last life. Uh, should I wait for you guys or just cap down there while you guys are coming? I'll, I'll cover it while you guys come back. Roger, where are you? Passing into the red, the red area now. Yeah, I'll see you. I am joining Space Chef. He says he thinks he has a guy chasing him, so I'm I'm uh, pursuing or I'm uh, looking for him. Watch out for that man paddy thing. It just shot down one of our bogs. Copy. As long as we stay above about 20 and don't get low over it, we'll be all right. But I'm I, yeah. I tried to warn that bog, and right as I was warning the bog, he got shot down by it. Oh good. Copy. I'm looking for him. Cap, we're all ready. I found him uh, about 70 kilometers out.
Are there any cap points okay, I've gotten in the area I'm looking of to... Kur Kurdistan Farc? We've got four times where that guy was inbound. I'll come myself, blood, but I'm a ways out. Roger. Uh, I've just taken a hit. Yeah, I'm going down. Okay, we got 114 down over here. I'm going to Kurdistan Park where hostile helicopters are attacking. Copy, Cap. I think I'll meet you over there. Any idea what types of helicopters they're using? The bad guys. Apaches, Apaches. Roger, Apaches. So I got a 14 behind me. Merge, 14. Good luck. Fox 2. Splash. Whee, well done. He overshot. Well done, who was it? Cover down. Noob. Fox 2 on another 14. He's stalling. Splash! Oh, it's co it's it's cover again. You killed him twice in a row. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, viewers, where's this stupid Apache at? It's in here somewhere. Cap on guard, calling any helicopters at Kurdistan far. Gap Space F, F fourteen nails southwest and southeast from my position. I'm at Kurdistan far, helping the helicopters. Yep, we need some help over here. What just happened there? I'm here, but I need some sort of information what the bad guys are, where they are. Yep, the enemy is the. Uh, yep, good defender. Didn't understand any of that. Well, there's some smoke. If that's anything to do with it. Pull up. Pull up. Penguin says Phoenix is out already. Both Penguin. Yeah, I think so. Yes, sir, my friend. I shot the Apache down at the far. Many thanks. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Nice, cap. Nice. All right, I'm coming back to you guys on the front. <sighs> uh, so the possible second Apache marked on map. Uh, Signori is a uh, is RTB. I gotta go get uh, some fuel. But Penguin and Cap and a couple 18s are up. You guys got it, right? Yes, sir. Copy. Oh, Bear is also inbound to help you guys. But that mark's just a few hundred feet away from where I shot the other one down. Cap is really appreciated. Thank you. Do you for Cap? Yeah, I'm here. Are there some uh, Apaches still around or did you took care about them? I haven't found any other Apaches and I'm still on station. Thank you. Um, EWR and uh, SAM sites will be set up in about two minutes. All right. Get, get it wise, there's an aircraft on top of you. And what? How high? I would say like 15,000. Roger. Visual. Yeah, my dad, my bad. Friendly, it's a friendly. Copy cap, I know. Signore, where did you go to refuel? I'm just going back to Kuwari's. I don't think there's a closer base. Watch out. Or Jira, I guess, is kind of where I'm heading. Alright, I'm just defending the Kurdistan part, but they don't seem to want me to leave. Roger, I'm just worried that we're all getting out of fuel and running out of weapons at the same time here. 
Uh, well, Bear is recently on station, so he can cover it. They've nearly finished setting up an EWR, so that will be really useful. Uh, Caps Fish has F5s about five miles west of your location, Angel 2. Thank you. Helicopters warning, F5s coming in, they're close. I've got Bear on their six as well. Caps Fish has merged, merged, two times F5. Watch out. Fuck are they? A shadow. In the weirdest possible thing I think I've ever seen, I shot both F5s down without doing anything. I maneuvered and they both cut their own wings off. I have never seen that Fuck before. Yes. I am internet Good famous. Job. Cap, that was that's amazing. They you really at the side of you. They died at the side of you. Yeah, I can feel kind of manly now, guys. <laughs> Twats, who does that? You are a prat. Don't yank your stick so hard, you'll go blind. Cap, that was insane. I was just behind you, I saw that. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't fly the F5, because I think it's really easy to break your wing. It does kind of suck the fun out of it. I, I, I like to make 21, so... Well, well done. That's uh, God. We we've got to have ten to 50, ten aircraft killed at this point. Yeah, fifteen that's nice. helicopters at Kurdistan far progress on setting EWR up. We're really missing that right now. Yeah, I'm having issues to set it up. It, uh, all the crates are here, but unfortunately we cannot spawn it. We don't know why. Oh damn it! Uh. I landed so fast that I popped every tire. Do you survive? But I'm alive. You're all right then. Refueling, rearming. So you went all the way back home then? I went to Jira. Uh, with uh, break. Can you do me a favor, Signor. There's something conning over Kurdistan Park. Can you check what that is for me? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to give you guys all the uh, vectors. Um, uh, MiG 29s, we've got nails, F 40 Southwest of my posi position, probably coming from Sharat. Who's this up here? 333 for 72 miles, Cap. Are, are you even going to try to make it back, Cap, or do you think you're not going to make it? I've got loads of fuel. I'm just hanging out, I'm trying to get them, protect them while they build this EWR, which they're not really doing very well. I didn't realize you had a bunch. That's good. Oh, well, I was hoping to use it in a dogfight against some F5s, but that didn't go very far. <laughs> that was hilarious. I can't believe that. Yeah, I was like vectoring Bear over to you. I'm like, oh, God, he's going to have to help. And you're like, they're both dead. Cap, bandit, bandit, bandit. 15 miles, deck, approaching. Are you still off the ground? Are you still on the ground? Cap, Space Chef, you have track of the um, Apache? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've got someone on my nose 10 miles, Space, if that's what you're asking. Copy, and me up, Ashi, clear to get. Uh, Cap, we need you south of the comms tower, if it's ingressing. I mean, just killing an Apache, BRB. And I'm, I'm not dead, Roger. so comms should be okay, right? You got it. If you have tally, right? Yeah. Alright. I'm just getting rid of them quick, because the boys need me back. Oh, there's another one. What the hell, how many are there? It's a good track. Come on, I haven't got time for this. Dodge. Watch out, Cap. Yeah, he missed. God damn it, all my missiles are failing. So, all you have, uh. Yeah, those rear aspect R60s are awful. Good luck with those. <laughs> oh. well, it's another really weird dogfight. No, missiles are coming off the rail. I'll have to go guns. Cap, if you get a little distance and turn back in, you might be able to hit him with your R27 that you still have. Roger. If 
you shoot it at like, uh, say, uh, two miles, but with the with the sky behind it instead of the ground clutter, so get low. Oh yeah, this this guy. I don't know if you see him. Right in front. Stop turning now. He's right in front. Right low. That'd be a, oh yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, garbage. Fucking missile. Good shot. <laughs> you got him. Nice one, Cap. Yep. Oh, ow. That light. light. Engine fire. What they get you with? There's a man paddle. There's a smoke trail from the ground. Keep Cap in the vicinity of the uh, sovereign park. Alright, I'm a spectator. Which means I can cheat on cheat view. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Go on, Ello. Go on, Ello. Oh, 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 cover die. What a bell end. <laughs> you got him, Ello. You frigging got him. <laughs> and he is one swearing Canadian right now. How you survived that, Ello? What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? That was awesome. Uh, buddy Spike, SU-25. Buddy Spike, SU-25. Alright, so now back up. I'm heading south if, uh, to provide cap if still needed. Yep, definitely. Oh, geez, sticking and low. Well spotted, Jackal, missile out, missile out, Jackal. Uh, Elo Space Chef, watch out, there's a F-14 flying yep, low, yep, yep. danger clause. Yep, I'm on him. I have no HUD, but I'm trying to take him out of here. Receive the Space. Space Chef taking off, tag back.
Signore was looking for the Tomcat in the area, if anybody has. I... Special for an intercept on uh, Jaffa's. You got one to track, Signore. Yeah, I got an Apache just now. Uh, to track, I'm yeah. On a, um, I had to be like, uh, really, really close. First one missed, second one barely tracked. Mm -mm. Keep your wits about you, Signore, that's all I can say. Copy that. Oh, you're telling me some. Tomcat. I think that's their last Tomcat. Hello, Tom's check. Signore, Curtis, Sam Fob is under attack, by the way. Roger, uh, I'll turn around for it. I'll let you know as soon as I find out, though. Check two four three. Uh, is this one on working? Uh, so right, there's uh, just uh, two Apaches around next to our farm. They are located about five miles to heading one two zero. Yeah, you're close to them, um, Senor. Just go around the other direction. Yeah, go ahead, shoot him, shoot him, in heart. Shoot. I don't uh, think he's destroyed, but I have a couple hits on him. I'm gonna smack him. Continue for the other one. Uh, I'm doing a BDA. That Apache is destroyed.
So uh, there was a closer air base cap. This Topka place Bear told me about is a little closer. Roger. I fucked up on that. guys i suggest we debrief um let's try and find out what happened first flight mig 29s of blue team all right so we took off let me uh despawn so i don't hear the shoey in the background we took off and uh we split our flight up into two flights uh because we wanted to cap uh far kurdistan and the other far that was more west towards the contested zone so we had a uh, cap and myself in the southeast and Bear and Penguin in the west middle area. Um, continued to cap for the entire time. Shot down several aircraft and helicopters. Um, I know everybody kind of got up to their own things, but uh, it was pretty eventful. Roger. Anything you want to add to that, Cap, like not, that you got up to? Or? It's not really. I mainly spent most of my time defending the FARP uh, down in the east, I think it was. But it was they eventually got, got on top of me. Uh, yeah, we were quite we were quite busy. We were juggling with mm. you know fuel and weapons, and then mm. uh, you know trying to keep stay on station mm. the whole time. But mm. we had help from the 18, so mm. that was good. Anyways, overall good. We shot down, I'd say, ten or more aircraft. Mm -hmm. so it was good. Well done. Uh, whoever next, guys. Hornets. We took off uh, from uh, Gaziantep. So we scrambled. We headed to the center of the map, uh, armed with uh, air to air. Our idea was to uh, use our radars to try to spot um, all the enemies. Um, was especially useful when, uh, well, enemies were cold, or I don't know if some were turning radar off at some point. Uh, so we had some interesting engagements. Uh, some of us got shot down. We shot down some of the enemies, including some F-14s. So I think uh, we, we did pretty well. Roger. Next flight, please. See, hello, flight. Uh, we took off. I think we was having some type of technical difficulty. So we went up and uh, hit the, the air base that was uh, contested. So we was just uh, wiping up, mopping up targets there. Then I went down to the FARP and got engaged with the uh, bandit. And he pulled the, ripped his own wings off, I guess. And uh, I got shot down. Well, yeah, I got shot down, ejected, then got picked up. So, uh, yeah, we did all right. Roger. Well yeah, done. we both got picked up, Ella. Hold on. Would you guys next flight, please? Well, it's uh, Hind Redo in Hind. Uh, I took off and went to recon and defend the uh, Taftanas airport, but nothing happened. So I ended up helping the Su 25s to take on the Abu Al Duhur. Uh, Rearmed and refueled, took off some troops and dropped them in the middle of the airport. Sure. And that's it. Very good. Next flight, please. Uh, Bean isn't here, so I might as well fill in. A um, few technical issues at first with crates. Uh, we're trying to set up a SAM-3 site on a ridge uh, south of the far. But <clears throat> whenever we picked up a SAM-3 launcher, it said we had loaded a ZU-23. So uh, there's loads and loads of crates up there. We couldn't get to spawn. So we put an early warning radar up there as well. Couldn't get that to spawn either. Eventually... Um, I switched to putting a um, Strela south of the uh, far between the far and the ridge. That seemed to work all right, uh, and I managed to get south, um, a bit far south behind enemy lines, and drop off some of our troops to cause trouble. 
Uh, otherwise, we also got intercepted by the Apaches. Having no weapons, of course, the only thing we could do is uh, run into them, which was good fun, but uh, maybe not cricket. But yes, we had fun all round, despite the frustrations. And we did adopt the Zap Brannigan school of combat and discovered that the Apaches had an inbuilt <laughs> kill limit. Eventually, if we just kept respawning, they'd run out of ammo, and we managed to put a few crates down. <laughs> It works, guys. Uh, is that our lot done? All right, blue. Red, even. Yeah, Red, I don't know if cover is still here, but I can debrief. All right, yeah, Tomcat flight, cap. Uh, we took off first time. We lost uh, Simba early. Cover managed to shoot a couple of guys. I shot a couple, went back alive. Uh, then I lost cover in the second sortie. Then I fought alone. I think I shot down like two Hornets and one SU-25 and uh, made it back. So yeah, fought as hard as we could and got at least like seven or eight kills between the Tomcats. So it was good. Yeah, well done, Tomcats. Uh, next flight. Tomcats, I think that is. But I think we right. have one pilot. Uh, His Honor and Mrs. His Honor are not here. Next flight, please. Yeah, Bendy and Milo in the F5s. Um, we took off. We uh, dragged a few uh, 29s uh, south, had a bit of a dance with them. We didn't last very long we died so we respawned much the same sort of thing on the second go around um and then we took over some armor and we've driven it about 26 miles and i'm currently sat inside one of your farps hmm. uh next flight please uh h64s uh i got six uh, uh mi8 uh mig 29 and four ground targets uh, a lot of fun uh, anybody else push Bypass or unexpected. Yeah, yeah, so from Palmyra, our plan was to fly north and uh, take down defences at the Farp Kurdistan. I think we managed to do that. Uh, uh, despite the Blues building some sites in the area, we managed to do that and shot down some MI8. So uh, next mission should be interesting. Lucky. Texo and Lucky, but Texo had left early. He was having trouble with CTLD. And I managed to load... Four crates for the uh, SA-6, and uh, I've shot some uh, infantry, about three or four infantry that they were to try to put around, Pal the enemy put around Palmyra. I happened to see them and took them out. Yeah, that was a bit nuts. Uh, thanks to everyone who participated. Um, if the Hilo pilots could let me know in DMs what they managed to build, um, I'll, I'll make sure the next mission is all fair and square, if you can. Thank you. Thank well, you. well done. I'll see you later, guys. Later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.